and at least 13 civilians were injured after Russia's airstrikes on the northeastern city of Zaporizhia. As per Ukrainian officials, this is President Vladimir Zelensky has arrived in the United States as he seeks to shore up support for Ukraine in the war against Russia. This is likely to be the last such visit before the November elections that could shape Washington's policies on Kyiv. Zelensky will attend sessions at the United Nations General Assembly in New York and travel to Washington for talks with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. He will share with the U.S. leaders a victory plan to end the war with Russia. Zelensky has urged allies to help him achieve truly just peace for Ukraine, stressing that this fall will determine the future of this war. We need peace. On the terms provided by the peace formula, on the terms provided by the UN Charter, we will do everything to achieve that get weapons to defend our independence and our people, deploy diplomacy to consolidate our partners' support and force Russia into peace. Upon arrival, Zelensky made an unannounced stop in Pennsylvania to visit a munitions plant that is producing one of the most critically needed munitions for Ukraine. Zelensky said that the Scranton Army ammunition plant is ramping up manufacturing of crucial 155mm artillery shells to help Kyiv's war effort. The plant is one of the few facilities in the country that manufactures these artillery shells and Ukraine has already received more than 3 million of them. Zelensky's visit coincides with Washington's efforts to prepare a $375 million military aid package for Kyiv. It comes as Ukraine frets that a second Donald Trump presidency could loosen U.S.'s commitments. Trump has repeatedly praised Russian President Vladimir Putin and has refused to take a side in this war. As Kyiv seeks to cover all political bases, the Ukrainian presidency has said that Zelensky plans to meet former president during his visit as well, but no date has been announced for the same.